the other two teams who are going to be participating in this big event. We've got number one versus number one, Alabama versus UCLA. That one is the headliner. That one's kicking off at 8.30 p.m. Eastern uh, in, in Cary, North Carolina. I'm I'm excited for, for this match. I, I got to say, uh, there's something about, um, you know, a program on the rise, right, sort of continuing, you know, to build what they've been working on uh, throughout the last – few years you know around a specific core class of players and i'm eager to see what what alabama can can bring to to this type of uh event uh, with the with the players that they have how, how about you joe oh my gosh alabama i'm i i, I can say this because i'm not commentating any of these games i'm a massive alabama fan i Hope that they take it all. I want them to win. I'm rooting for them. A roll tide. I've never yeah. said that in my life, but roll tide. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alabama, you've got a new fan. <laughs> um, they were the darlings of the SEC this year. They didn't win um, the SEC championship, but they did win the regular season. And um, I just I love their style. I love the way that they play. They look to have possession of the ball, but not just possession to have the ball, but in – dangerous territory and they look to create quality goal scoring opportunities so they look to dominate teams in that way and and they're so threatening and dangerous and in every way like they can get around the edge they can serve from the end line they can serve from the wide areas they look to find parker centrally they can create set pieces which felicia knox has, can just deliver a ball um, on a platter they can hit from distance or play these little slip passes in behind and one thing that I think separates them from most teams is they really like to instigate that press and capitalize on turnovers, like similar to how the OL Reign have um, profited from that in, in the past. And I, I mean, they've got Riley Parker, who's just been an output monster beast. She makes those um, runs in, into the box, looks to find space, and she can hurt. The way that she can finish a ball with her head is unmatched, I think, by anyone in college soccer this year. I love that you're giving a shout to Alabama because they this is so well deserved for them. This is their very first college cup in history. Um, they, they lost to BYU last year, who ends up going on to the championship, ends up losing to FSU in the final last year. But they've uh, they're coming into this game off of a three to overtime win to Duke and and they've conceded goals they've they've struggled at times uh to have that bit of consistency but man they can score goals like that's one of the most fun things about this Alabama team is that they know how to find the back of the net like you score 3 goals in uh, the quarterfinal coming into the college cup to get this like it is so hard to score <laughs> goals and they end up continuing to do it they they also have two mac herman trophy semi-finalists on this roster that they have grad student forward riley mattingly parker uh she's number 10 she's got some crazy red fiery hair you can't miss her when you're watching her on, on the field and then rena reyes she's uh, a senior she plays defensive midi she's pushes up a little bit higher uh number 16 she's helped this team defensively a lot but she also scored a goal in their last match uh pushing them into the college cup so she can do it on both sides of the ball um uh, this Alabama team is is really fun and exciting to watch. Jill, I can't believe you said Roll Tide. I'm never going to let you live that down. <laughs> but we, we have to look at the other side of it, too, because UCLA is a team that um, is ranked number one coming into this in the United Soccer Coaches poll. Uh, they are a top dog team. They have been, been running this league and, and coming into it. They're coming off of a 2-1 overtime win against UVA. Um, they're back to the College Cup for the first time in three years. So they've hit a bit of a slump and for those that are nwsl fans you know that ucla lost their head coach at the end of last year amanda cromwell she entered the nwsl to coach at orlando pride she's no longer there anymore but that meant that ucla had a brand new head coach this year and marguerite awazasa i believe i'm saying that right um she was hired in late december she comes in from Stanford where she was an assistant coach for years, uh, seven years. She won so many titles at Stanford, including two NCAA championships. Uh, this is a coach that has a pedigree and understands what to do. But to come into a program like UCLA in your very first year and take this team to the College Cup is a tremendous accomplishment because she didn't draft 
all of these players. She didn't pick them. She didn't build this team. She was just taking what was put in front of her, incredible soccer players, and molding them to be a team, to be a cohesive unit, to go out onto the pitch and play. Uh, but they've got some really good players up top in their in the, some of their forwards. Uh, Sunshine Fontinez, she's number 50. She's out of Hawaii. She is playing tremendous for this UCLA team. But defensively, UCLA – is is hard to score against. That's why I love this matchup of Alabama versus UCLA because Alabama is a, a team that leads the nation in goals. Uh, one of they have seventy six goals. They have outscored opponents seventy six to seventeen in this year like 76 goals are you kidding me for one college team I love that and and then you look at this UCLA team that defensively is is pretty good on, on their lockdown side they've got a goalkeeper Lauren Brisky uh, she's a grad student she's won a number of accolades she l- leads the conference um, in goals against average and shutouts and save percentages and wins she's got a lot of accolades so I think the anchor of Brisky in goal for UCLA going up against Alabama's attack is going to be such a tremendous battle. I'm really excited to see these two go head to head as they're the two teams that both needed to go into overtime to settle out and determine who was going to get their place in, in the college cup. Uh, shout out to Lucy saying, hasn't seen Alabama play this season, but now I'm really interested in seeing them after that description. Look at everyone. Listen, every, everybody should just listen to whatever Joe Lorden has to say when it exactly. comes to Alabama. That's why we brought her on here. That's why yeah, we brought gotta, her on here. <laughs> gotta get, look, gotta get the folks amped up for, uh, for, for Alabama roll tide. Right. So <laughs> I, I, I'm eager to see, you know, and then sort of listening to you run that rattle that set off, Lisa, about about the goals here with with UCLA. I'm I'm a little curious if maybe there's room in the College Cup to have a little bit of end to end kind of like bigger score lines, and I'm a little curious to see if if these are the two teams that are going to provide that in 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 this in this matchup. Um, I do wonder if something like going into overtime sort of plays on, on the legs or the bodies and moving ahead into this one. But I would imagine with, with the time in between the games and, and, and the prep and the build up to them that these two teams come kick off are going to be ready and, 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 and gunning to go. Yeah. I don't think, I think they've had a, enough rest and listen, you're never a hundred percent. Like I can count on one hand how many times I've ever felt 100%. Nobody needs extra little motivation. This is the final four. Everybody's just going to go out there and give it every single thing they have. I think that's something that separates um, Alabama apart from a lot of teams is they do have a lot of depth and they are the fittest I've ever seen. They come at you for 90 minutes, constant interchange. Their outside backs are getting high. Um, Whether that's um, in the attack to help provide in the attack or just – a little bit higher and invert it so that they can pin teams in and defend higher up the pitch, which takes some pressure off of their goalkeeper and their center backs um, who are a little undersized, but they they'll have a great matchup against sunshine Fontes, who is, Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite players in the NCAA to watch. She is so fun. She loves, loves it. I was able to work with her um, with our U 17s, um, our U-17 national team and being around her, her joy is just so contagious and infectious and she just loves playing and you can see the joy because she's so creative with the ball, can beat players in such a a, a fun way to watch, creative in a multitude of different ways, can hit from distance and I look forward to watching some of, some of these matchups to see, you know, can Alabama put enough pressure on, on UCLA um, defensively to keep – UCLA further from goal. And if UCLA can break that initial press, I think there's going to be space for them to play. 